social media and all of those things, do they feel... Well, I guess what I'm getting at is the idea that, you know, to my generation, or Diane's generation, we saw these things kind of um, come into existence, you know? But for you, now you're 18, right? So you would have been like 14, 15, you would have heard about virtual reality and things like that. Do they seem... <coughs> Do they seem, do, do, is it something that punctuates your kind of like reality or do you feel that it's just what you were born into? I guess that's what I'm getting at. Does any of this, the iPhone technology, Instagram, all of that, does it seem strange or does it just seem completely natural to you? Mm, I think there are too much image, too much, too much, too much. And all the people around the world want now, want now, want now, want now. And it's not possible for me, I am a creative person, it's not possible for me to create every time for every people. I make my art to start for me and after it's for present. But Instagram and Facebook or all the social media for me it's a very good point for presented, but it's a very dying point and very. It's like a, it's like a bomb for for destruct all the image, you know. It's very it's okay. I present, I take a pic of me, I present to you. Okay, you are a nice guy. Okay, thank you. But it's very simple in the in the. It's a different uh, way. It's uh, it's very simple to destruct the image of a man in in one minute. It's possible to present it a man, and in one minute, it's possible to destruct a man. And for me, the social media it's very interesting, and I have social media, but it's um, in French it's a double tranchant. It look like a cut this, okay, and cut this. It's uh, look like a snake. It's a uh, it's not possible to, to take just one way of social media. It's different way. And uh, if you are a great person to present good things on your social media, it's okay. But it's a real, for me, I think it's a real work to work on this, to present. It's not just take a post uh, pics on uh, Instagram. It's not. It's the reflection about I post this because I want to present this at this person, and um, I think the person take a comment for uh, other people and for me, and uh, it's okay. But I, I, I hate uh, take a selfie and post a selfie of on my on my wall because it's so boring. I, it's not important my face. My face, it's not important. My art, and uh, I make uh, paintings, pics, dresses. This is important. My face, okay. I have long hair. I, I wear jackets, okay. But it's not uh, my face. It's not important. Just I make paintings, and me, I am behind. But what about virtual reality? What? Virtual reality. What's your oh, reaction to mm, it? Virtual reality. Uh, it's very difficult to explain this, but... Um, mm. Does it interest you? Yes, but I'm, I'm not very think about this. I, it's, not in my, it's not in my reflection today. Um, why I don't know, it's... Uh, no, I, I, don't, uh, I don't think about this. It's uh, nothing for me. Today it's nothing. But it's important, I think. <laughs> Did you see the robot that does backflips? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting. It's like... Uh, so what do you think of virtual reality? Um, I, I think that there's... I think the most interesting thing about virtual reality is the notion of what it does to your your ethics really in the sense that if you have a virtual experience of a of a you know you if you're playing GTA 5 or something you're blowing things away from a, from, with the separation of a screen and you're shooting monsters or whatever it may be and you're killing things essentially 
when you have um, like sensor pads on your hands and you're in a virtual world and maybe you kill something in a virtual world, you'll have a physiological feeling of killing something. You know? You'll have a physiological feeling of having like a sexual experience if it's like a pornographic game or something. Um, so I think that what that will do to the mind of the person playing it is fascinating but also probably quite dangerous in terms of how people will get their kicks if you take your virtual reality to its ultimate you know to its ultimate end um, or to its extremes rather I think that um, it's it's also just another it's just another form of turning people into um, kind of isolated units of consumption one way or another so we're already in a we're already in a paradigm where we're being kind of forced into being isolated units of consumption and putting kind of art directed versions of ourselves into reality via various different media. Um, the idea of a, of a pseudo kind of connected experience with other people in a digital sphere where actually in reality you're all wearing headsets and you're completely alone. Um, and also being able to purchase things in that sphere, and people buying virtual weapons, and people buying virtual homes, or whatever. I, I mean, for me, it's quite a terrifying thing in, in, in many ways. That's what I think about virtual reality, but also, ultimately, quite fascinating. And ultimately, um, the notion of uploading like the human consciousness into some kind of digital mainframe is another thing people talk about. That you know, it's guided evolution. It can come. It yeah. You know, it has that sense of like, where does it go next? Who am I to say what's right or wrong in that sense? You know, if we can do it, then probably we will do it. You know? Thanks.